Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars Battlefront 2 with me Long Clover, Larian Steel where we always deliver. Well today is Star Wars Day and what better day to celebrate this special day than to bring you some Star Wars Battlefront 2 content to my channel. This is something I've been meaning to do for a little while so we're going to dive straight into the main campaign and I'll bring you some of the action as it happens. When it comes to Star Wars games, there are a few you can reference, but none more popular and more accomplished than the Battlefront 2 video game, which is a couple of years old. I've never played the campaign all the way through, but I'm going to bring you every step of the way to the channel. We're going to start right off here by visiting the main protagonist. This is the commander of the Imperial soldiers, Aiden Versio. Now let's see what happens. So this is so cool. I mean, we're getting a glimpse into the Empire here. We're playing as, as the bad guys. And this is very different to the way Star Wars games have been positioned before. And I really like it. So this is our main character. She's a commander of an Imperial soldier storm unit. And these are like the special forces in the Empire. And this is obviously the Rebellion. And they're trying to get her to talk. They want her to give up secrets. And she's being held on some ship and our main mission is going to be to try and get her out of here and break her out and help her regroup with her soldiers and her unit. What's also very cool is there is a lot of stuff you will recognize. This is a game made for Star Wars fans, let me tell you. So as soon as you have a moment to yourself, the first thing you do is you speak the words that will basically launch a little droid to come to life and you're shown the footage through the droid's eyes and there's obviously someone here an engineer the guy just actually told me that an engineer is going to slice open my droid and get the secrets from within inside and you have the chance to trigger an electric shock a pulse attack which will basically disable the engineer and then you're controlling the droid and that droid is going to make its way slowly through the spaceship to you and that's basically the first little mission and your first little bit of proper gameplay so you're going through the vents it's all so cool and I was hooked as soon as I started doing this there's a lot of people walking around and as soon as they see the droid they will start shooting at it but if you stay low and behind certain things and move fairly quickly you will find yourself able to get around no problem and you're gonna just keep entering into the vents to pass over the top of most of the players which will give you a stealth approach I mean obviously anything to do with Star Wars it's going to be an epic presentation and this does not disappoint every single cutscene is cinematic and it's a really good way to experience the Star Wars universe so now the commander's free and right away without much tutorial you're into the gameplay and straight up you're looking at kind of stealth attacks as you pass behind people that's kind of hard to get the hang of doing that correctly but there is a stealth approach where you can take people down silently and use some pretty cool combat hand-to-hand -hand melee combat but eventually and quite quickly you get yourself a blaster and you're going to use that and you can really choose I think what I found is that you can either be loud or not and you're talking to someone in your earpiece so there is some communication going on and obviously you're in touch with your your soldiers and your unit and you're firstly going to get hold of some 
footage from the main control room before you try to exit the spaceship and the exit cutscene is fantastic there's a lot of people who obviously try to stop you but I found that the combat is kind of cool it's simple the guns work really cool exactly as you would want to experience from a Star Wars blaster approach and a really nice touch just like in the Star Wars films you can shoot the doors and then they shut and that blocks you in and, and gives you a chance to to remove some of the bad guys that are coming to try to stop you but eventually you get to a pod where you can you can shoot yourself away and it's just so cool and this character is kind of intriguing and it's a character that I'm not familiar with and I know quite a lot about Star Wars but I don't know anything about this commander very so and I really like the fact that this is something I'm experiencing something completely new from something that I know so well so this is the the prologue and that's really as far as you need to go in the prologue before you approach mission one and I'll be bringing that to you very soon let me know what you think and happy Star Wars Day and may the force be with you